My name is Harit Gadamanagu. I am a specialized solutions architect. I've been working with AWS WAF customers for quite a while now. Today, I have uh, some a talk about advanced WAF rules, and I'll also go up about and go and talk about some of our intelligent threat mitigation features. I also have some demos at the end, and uh, afterwards, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by. Uh, I'll be at the secure content delivery booth, so ask more questions. That said, uh, I would like to kick us off by defining what is a bot. So bots are software programs that run on the internet that perform automated tasks. On one side, you have good bots that perform uh, critical functions, like they help you search, uh, they help you collect knowledge and information from other sites. They do all wonderful things. But not all bots on the internet serve legitimate purposes. There are bots which can be used at scale to be part of malicious activities, and those are the ones that we commonly refer to as bad bots. And uh, these bad bots typically engage in activities that impact your user experience and reputation. So content scraping, account takeover fraud, card cracking are some of these uh, bad bot activity that we see commonly on the internet. But Overall, more than 47% of the internet traffic is made up of bots. And, and they say like 30% of that traffic is unidentified. And these are the ones that, that typically participate in this uh, bot, uh, bad bot activity that we see up here. And every day it is getting easier and uh, more people are getting access to these advanced bot automations. And the topic of understanding bot defenses and what are the AWS services that help you protect from advanced and sophisticated bots is becoming more relevant. And so that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. And uh, over the years, the bot operators have evolved into sophisticated big uh, online businesses. And uh, if you could pay attention to the screen here, you would see some of the attack vectors that are being used from with varying levels of sophistication. Um, and customers need to stay on top of this evolving bot threats. And this is a challenge. So this is where AWS WAF managed rules help. So we offer sophisticated bot detections by uh, managed rules. These are one-click deploy uh, with little editing, and you could have it in your WebACL configuration. And AWS WAF is our uh, web application firewall. It monitors uh, you know, HTTPS requests and protects your application from commonly occurring web threats out there. It lets you control access to your website by defining rules. And you could define a desired rule action, like allow, block, or count, or use some of advanced mitigation rules as well. The product itself offers flexible rule configuration with managed rules, rate limiting, uh, supporting multiple statement types. Uh, but customers also love the fact that the service offers a variety of native logging and monitoring options. So that said, let's focus on the box here, which is like the intelligent threat mitigation feature set, which is the topic of today. At the core, we offer two managed rule groups, uh, and then there are like advanced mitigation options like capture and challenge that you can configure as these rule actions and mitigate complex uh, bot attacks. We also support client-side integration application for some of these use cases. You can couple this feature with the existing rule groups, and you really have a powerful bot defense mechanism. So I'm going to talk about each feature one after the other. First, uh, by going through the advanced managed rules. So this table that you see here covers some of our rule offerings and different use cases that are best fit. So I'm going to start us off by talking about the AWS WAF, uh, WAF bot control rule sets. So we have two levels of inspection here, the common and targeted. If you are looking to manage traffic from good bots and block any unverified bots, uh, this is a good option for you. The bot detections at this level are based on traditional bot detection techniques that rely on static request analysis. For customers seeking to protect from 
malicious sophisticated bots. Uh, we have the targeted rule offering. The bot detections at this level are a little advanced, uh, a little sophisticated. So we do things like uh, browser interrogation, look at different behavior uh, heuristics and device fingerprinting to understand if the requests are coming from a browser or not. There is also built-in machine learning capability that is part of our targeted bots. So if you are getting requests uh, that are indicative of a coordinated bot activity, our ML model can predict this and come up with the labels. For customers seeking protection on specific endpoints or specific workflows, like um, you know, preventing account takeover attacks on login pages, we have a rule offering for that called account takeover prevention. And likewise, for customers seeking to prevent fake account creation, we have an offering called account creation fraud prevention. That said, uh, let's look at some of the rule actions that uh, these advanced WAF rules use. So these advanced WAF rules typically use challenge and capture as default mitigation options. Uh, some of these rules also use dynamic uh, rate limiting and other things, but uh, I want to focus on the challenge rule action for in this slide here. So challenge action is basically a WAF action. Whenever you configure a WAF rule to serve uh, this challenge action, we serve a silent challenge script to the end user and we verify if they can execute this JavaScript or um, and send us enough uh, telemetry that they are a browser indeed. So let's see how this works. So let's say you have a client uh, or a browser who is talking to your website that is behind AWS WAF and we have a challenge rule action configured for to act upon this request. The first thing that AWS WAF would do is it would respond with an HTTP 307 redirect and throw a challenge script uh, at them. And the browser or the end user would solve this uh, cryptographic challenge, uh, add a solution to it, and respond back to the AWS WAF service. And AWS WAF service would verify this and vend a unique token and verify that this end user is a browser or a valid client. And the expectation from here on is the client would add tokens and send it back to AWS WAF. Uh, so that's one way of verifying if the end user is not a bot. But during this process, something really interesting happens. So we so in the, the token is made up of information that is collected by this telemetry. So we derive browser profiles, device fingerprints, and any other attributes that we can from the client session to understand the end user is a browser. And all this information is encoded inside the token. And this token is a foundational block for all our behavioral analysis that we do. Another interesting rule action that we offer is capture rule action. So with capture action, the uh, token acquisition process that I just described uh, happens by making the human or the end user solve a puzzle. So these are some of the puzzles that we offer today. And these, uh, they are specially designed to make it easy for humans to solve and um, identify bots easily. Not just these, we understand there may be some situations where, or use cases, where redirect challenge or redirect capture may not be applicable, especially if you're using API workloads. So for cases like that, we offer SDK integration. So the way SDK integration works is it emulates the challenge behavior, the, the way, but um, it kind of proactively goes and fetches the token and submits the proof of work. These SDKs are available free of cost, and they are available for JavaScript and mobile applications that run on Android and iOS. And if you are a customer who, are, who is seeking more control uh, over the CAPTCHA puzzle, there is an option for you to integrate with our CAPTCHA APIs. So you can manage the puzzle and uh, understand the behavior a little more better. And this option is available for JavaScript applications. OK, I mean, I've, I've given you the, law of the, uh, the lay of the land. And we saw these advanced mitigation options, the core rule sets. 
and uh, the client side application integration now let's go ahead and look at a bot detection demo so what i have for you here are three demos where i increase the attack vector sophistication at every demo and try to show how aws web detects such an attack so for the purpose of this i've built a demo application and i'm hosting this demo application on my Amazon CloudFront. Amazon CloudFront is our content delivery network. And this is where at the edge, I'm running my AWS WAF intelligent threat mitigation rules. And uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm only detecting them. So I'm, everything is in count mode. So let's start off with a low sophistication attack vector that is based on uh, HTTP libraries. So attackers can use wgets or curls and create an army of bots and try to take down your application. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm doing exactly that. I'm crafting a curl request and uh, running a bash script here. And I'm hitting my application endpoint that you just saw. And let's see what happens. From here on, I navigate to my WAF sample request dashboard. And I'm clicking on the request that came in. And I see that this request is, this request is being labeled as uh, HTTP library. So from here on, you could decide to either block search request or rate limit them or um, you know, serve a challenge or a capture action as you desire. I know attackers retool constantly on the internet. So for the purpose of my next demo, I'm going to increase the attack vector sophistication. So here, what I'm doing for my next demo is I'm, I'm using a Selenium web driver on Python. And I'm uh, emulating an actual user behavior uh, programmatically. So this in this script, it is entering the credentials. It is navigating to the next page. It's adding things to the cart and proceeding to the checkout page. While it's doing that, I'm going to navigate to my sample request dashboard in a while now um, and try to see how this attack is being detected. So I go ahead and click on my cart page, like on the URI where this request is. And one thing to notice here is this request, like the browser emulation has gone, solved the challenge for us, and got the AWS WAF token. But still, even though like it was a good human behavior uh, that was emulated, the targeted bots are able to detect them as signal automated browsers. So as a mitigation option, you could decide to rate limit them or block them or you know, throw uh, interesting challenge or capture actions. What, I think for my last demo, I have picked something that is really popular these days where threat actors you know, use stolen credentials to gain access to sensitive data. Um, this happens all the time where somebody gets uh, their hands on a stolen credential database and they constantly hit uh, your application endpoint to either verify the list that they got or try to actually get into it. This is exactly what I'm doing uh, with my session automation here. So I'm going again to my traffic overview dashboard to see how this attack was detected. Under account takeover prevention, under the signals that were emitted on this page, we could see that we are able to detect a credential compromise signal. So from here, like I can choose to add a custom header and signal my downstream application to send an MFA token to verify the user or let the user know that, hey, this credentials have been compromised. So that brings me to the end of my talk here today. And here are the key takeaways. AWS WAF offers comprehensive battle-tested and bot solutions and fraud offerings. And there are different options for token, um, token acquisition, as we have seen today. And for different use cases, for different types of applications, we have an option there. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to give you some additional resources as a call to action like to check out. Uh, the first link is a link to our prescriptive guidance on how to get uh, started or implement a bot control strategy. And the second link over there is a link to our application security performance portal. So thank you.